Adam's Needle, or Yucca filamentosa. This member of the lily family is a perennial, meaning it lives more than two years, and it grows in a habitat of sandy soil. The plant grows up to 10 feet tall, and has a whitish green flower that is in bloom between May and September. The flower has six regular parts or petals, and the flower itself is showy, nodding, and grows in large panicles several feet long. The fruit is pickle-like in shape, and has six sides. The plant has basal leaves only, and the leaves are entire, thick and rigid, one to two and a half feet long, with twisting threads and a spine tip. Warning. Be advised that this plant can have purgative side effects. The roots contain saponins, which are toxic to lower life forms. As for the plant's edibility, the flowers can be eaten raw or cooked, though many experts suggest eating them cooked, stating that the raw petals upset their stomachs and cause dryness of the throat. The fruit can also be eaten raw or cooked, but like the flower, when raw it is bitter and may cause stomach and throat issues. To prepare, half the fruit and scrape out the seeds and fibers. Sweeten to your taste, then wrap in aluminum foil and bake for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. The seeds can also be roasted at 375 degrees until dry, then ground roughly or boiled until tender like a vegetable. The young short flower stalk can be peeled and cut into sections, then boiled for 30 minutes. American Indians have used Adam's needle for a few medicinal purposes. The Catawba Indians took the root and rubbed it on the body and also made a decoction of the root and took it for skin disease. The Cherokee beat the roots and used it with or without tallow to make a salve for sores and they also made an infusion for diabetes and used the plant as a sedative to induce sleep. The Natticoke made a poultice of the roots and applied it to sprains. In addition to yucca filamentosa's edible and medicinal properties, it has a few other uses. For a fish poison, the roots were pounded and strewn onto water to intoxicate fish. For a detergent, the roots were pounded, boiled, and used instead of soap to wash blankets. To make a soap, the roots and leaves can be cut up and added to water, about one cup roots to two cups water, to make a lather as a soap or shampoo substitute. As a fire starter, the wood from the stock has the lowest kindling temperature of any wood making it extremely useful for fire starting while using the bow and drill method. Use the stalk as the drill. For cordage, the leaves contain fibers that can be spun into extremely strong cordage. And for a needle and thread, the tip of the leaves have a spike that when carefully broken off will have long fibers attached that can be used as a needle and thread.